Hello, young explorers. It's your old pal Frank here and boy oh boy do I have a fishy friend to introduce to you. Today, we're diving deep into the ocean to learn about a very unusual and interesting fish called the blobfish. Get ready for some blobby fun because this fish is unlike any other. Welcome to Trivia and Other Things. Have you ever seen a fish that looks like it's made of jelly? Well, meet the blobfish. This unique creature is one of the most fascinating and unusual fish you'll ever come across. The blobfish, scientifically known as Cycrolutes marsidus, is a deep sea fish that inhabits the waters off the coasts of mainland Australia and Tasmania, as well as the waters of New Zealand. It is often found at depths ranging from 600 to 1,200 meters, where the pressure is several dozen times higher than at sea level. This extreme environment has led to the blobfish developing some truly remarkable adaptations that set it apart from other fish. This funny fish isn't your typical scaly swimmer. Instead of scales, it has loose gelatinous skin. The blobfish's skin is a key adaptation to its deep sea habitat. At such great depths, the pressure is so intense that having a rigid bony structure would be a disadvantage. Instead, the blobfish's body is primarily composed of a gelatinous substance that is slightly less dense than water. This allows the blobfish to float just above the seafloor without expending much energy. Its lack of muscle and bone structure means that it doesn't swim in the traditional sense but rather drifts along with the currents. Wow, can you imagine having skin like jelly? It's true. The blobfish's gelatinous skin is not only an adaptation to the high-pressure environment, but also serves as a form of camouflage. In the dark, murky depths of the ocean, the blobfish's pale, almost translucent appearance helps it blend in with its surroundings, making it less visible to predators. Additionally, the blobfish's skin is covered in a layer of mucus, which provides further protection against the harsh conditions of its habitat. This wobbly wonder looks like a big, pink, squishy blob, and that's how it got its name. The blobfish's distinctive appearance has made it a subject of fascination and humor among humans. Its droopy, sad-looking face has earned it the title of World's Ugliest Animal in a 2013 online poll conducted by the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. However, this appearance is somewhat misleading. When the blobfish is in its natural deep-sea environment, the pressure helps maintain its shape. It is only when the blobfish is brought to the surface, where the pressure is much lower, that it takes on its characteristic blobby appearance. Let's watch a fun animation and see the blobfish in action. Despite its unflattering appearance, the blobfish plays an important role in its ecosystem. As a bottom dweller, it feeds on small invertebrates such as crabs, sea urchins, and mollusks. By keeping the populations of these creatures in check, the blobfish helps maintain the balance of the deep sea ecosystem. Its slow drifting movements allow it to conserve energy in an environment where food can be scarce. Look at it wiggle and wobble. The blobfish's unique mode of locomotion is another adaptation to its deep sea habitat. Instead of swimming actively like most fish, the blobfish relies on its buoyant gelatinous body to float just above the sea floor. This allows it to move with minimal effort, conserving energy in an environment where resources are limited. Its wiggling and wobbling movements are a result of its lack of muscle and bone structure, which gives it a distinctive, almost comical appearance. It's like a dancing blob of fun. The blobfish's unusual appearance and movements have made it a popular subject for cartoons and animations. Its wobbly, jiggly body lends itself well to humorous depictions, and it has become something of a mascot for the deep sea. However, it's important to remember that the blobfish is a real animal with real adaptations that allow it to survive in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Don't worry though, the blobfish is perfectly happy living its life in the deep sea, even if it looks a little different from its fishy friends. The blobfish's unique adaptations have allowed it to thrive in an environment that would be inhospitable to most other fish. Its gelatinous body, lack of scales, and slow drifting movements are all perfectly suited to the high pressure, low energy conditions of the deep sea. So while it may look a little strange to us, the blobfish is perfectly at home in its underwater world. Let's grab our imaginary submarines and dive down, down, down to the bottom of the ocean. That's right, the blobfish lives in the deep dark waters off the coast of Australia and Tasmania. It's so deep down there that sunlight can't even reach. Look at our map. See that big blue spot near Australia? That's where our blobby friends like to hang out. It's called their habitat, and it's a very special place. 
It's much different from the warm, shallow waters where we might see colorful coral reefs and playful dolphins. The blobfish's home is dark, cold, and mysterious. Now, even though the blobfish might look a little grumpy, it's not a picky eater. It loves to munch on anything it can find floating by in the deep sea. Imagine being a blobfish, just hanging out in the dark, when suddenly a tasty treat floats right past your nose. That's what it's like for our blobby friend. They especially love to gobble up small creatures like crabs, sea pens, and other little critters that live in the deep sea. It's like a never-ending buffet down there for the blobfish. Now you might be wondering with a face like that, is the blobfish dangerous? Well, hold on to your hats because the answer might surprise you. Despite its grumpy appearance, the blobfish is totally harmless to humans. It's true, this gentle giant is more interested in snacking on sea creatures than bothering people. In fact, the blobfish is so chill that it doesn't even have any real muscles. Can you believe that? It just floats around, conserving energy and enjoying the peace and quiet of the deep sea. Even though the blobfish lives deep down in the ocean, it's become quite a star. That's right, this funny-looking fish has become a bit of a celebrity. You might have seen the blobfish in cartoons, on t-shirts, or even in movies. It's true, people just can't get enough of its unique blobby charm. There's even a world's ugliest animal competition. And guess who won? You got it, the blobfish. But hey, we think the blobfish is special and interesting in its own way, don't you? Now let's talk about how the blobfish lives its life in the deep, dark sea. Remember how we talked about its habitat? It's very different from the world we live in. The pressure down there is incredibly strong, much stronger than anything we experience on land. But the blobfish is built for it. Its squishy body helps it to survive in this extreme environment. It's like having a built-in scuba suit. The blobfish doesn't even need a swim bladder, which is like a little balloon that helps other fish float. Its gelatinous body does all the work. So, why does the blobfish look so different from other fish? Well, it all comes down to science. Remember how we talked about the intense pressure in the deep sea? That pressure is so strong that it can actually crush a normal fish. But the blobfish's body has adapted to survive these extreme conditions. Its gelatinous skin and lack of bones allow it to withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea. It's like having a superpower. So, the next time you see a picture of a blobfish and wonder why it looks so different, Remember that it's perfectly adapted to its amazing deep sea home. So that's the amazing blobfish, one of the ocean's most unusual creatures. We learned about its squishy body, its deep sea home, and its surprising rise to fame. Remember, even though it might look a little different, the blobfish is a fascinating and important part of our planet's biodiversity. Keep exploring and stay curious. See you next time on Trivia and Other Things.